Hey, we're here with Charlotte Elmore from Women's Basketball. Charlotte, how are you doing today? You're not too bad, how are you? I'm doing pretty good. So with the start of the season, really soon, we just wanted to sit down and ask you a few questions to see how you're feeling about the upcoming season. Mm -hmm. What made you want to come to UWF? Um, I think obviously from my last school, I wanted somewhere that felt like home to me and I could come in and really make an impact. And I really truly believe that Coach Elm um, has helped me grow as a person and a player. And I feel super comfortable here and I think it's just a family environment and the support unit that we have is really good. Okay, so what has been the biggest adjustment not only coming from a new school but coming from England to the United States? You, I mean, it's everything, like language. I know we both speak English but we have very <laughs> different words and just like people not understanding mm -hmm. me and then every day it's like, do you want a cup of tea? And I'm like, ha ha, so funny. <laughs> But no, you get used to it. I, I love it here. It's amazing. Okay, so is the way that you played basketball in, over in England pretty much the same over here? Um, I mean, I think you have to address, like we're more traditional, I'd say, back home. Um, you know, there's a lot more, it's a lot faster here, so adjusting to the speed of the game, I think, was a big thing for me. But after two years, I think, I, you know, I, I feel like I've got it now. Um, okay. But yeah, you definitely have to adjust, and I think it's taken time, but I think I've got that. Okay, so you've been here for a year now. What has been, what has it been like stepping up into like a leadership role with COVID happening and coming into your second year with UWF? It's definitely been hard. I can't, um, you know, I, I think stepping into that leadership role has been hard for me, especially with COVID, because like, obviously I can take things like from Faith last year. Mm -hmm. She was a great leader and. But it's hard with COVID, like trying to get people through like quarantine and stuff like that. So, you know, as a team, we're still trying to get through it, especially now we've like had some instances where like we've had to deal with quarantining, but we're pushing through. And I think we just have to focus on like what we can control and not the stuff we can't, because otherwise if we focus on the uncontrollables, it's just going to bring us down. So, yeah. Okay, so what are you most looking forward to this upcoming season? Just playing basketball again. You know, we've had a long break, <laughs> so I'm just looking forward to playing basketball again and being on this court um, and like finally having that game atmosphere. Mm -hmm. I know it's not going to be the same with like the crowd and stuff, but just being on this court and like having that adrenaline rush, like I really miss it and the thrill of the game. What has been your favorite memory playing basketball? Oh, if ever, I mean, winning a championship back at home was pretty special. It was a pretty special team we had. Um, I speak to those girls on the regular, so I love that team and like having being able to win that team was really special and uh, I think it just proved that hard work can really really show at the end of this season. Okay. Charlotte, thank you so much for coming thank and talking you. to me. Good luck this season and go Argos. Thank you, go Argos.